gentlemen, my name is Michelle Simon. I would like to take this time to conduct a poll. By a quick show of hands, how many people in the audience have played or know someone who plays with a Barbie doll? Thank you. According to Mattel, one of the largest doll manufacturing companies and the creator of Barbie, in 1959, Barbie led Mattel to the forefront of the toy industry. Young girls look to Barbie as their role model because of her beauty and perfection. Barbie is advertised as the ideal image of a woman. However, advertisers fail to mention images like Barbie are unrealistic and un unattainable. Advertisers use slogans, taglines, and visual effects to reel in customers to purchase in their products. Some advertisers go as far as displaying and exploiting the, the female body to convey their message. Americans do not realize the impact that advertisement have on their lives. Advertisers persuade consumers to purchase products, a justified woman through harmful and slubim, slubim, excuse me, subliminal messages, a justified woman through harmful and subliminal messages, shape the way we view people in the world around us. In 2000, Jean Clibborn, author of the documentary Killing Us Softly 3, advertising images of women, explored various advertisements and how they affect and shape our lives. Issues brought by context, Clib Clibborn expressed sexism, gender stereotype, culture, and identity of women and young ladies. History of women in advertisement has changed drastically. From 1950s Marilyn Monroe to the double zero model on the cover of Vogue magazine. <coughs> Marilyn Monroe is a Hollywood icon, a well-respected sex symbol. Marilyn Monroe wore a size 12 dress. Marilyn Monroe was far from the average Barbie doll. Gail Sawyer, Hel a Hamilton College student, appeared on the Two Day Show, April 18, 2011, about her experiment called the real life Barbie doll. If Barbie was a real woman, she would have almost been six feet tall, weighing at 110 pounds, full figured, 39 inch bust, 18 inch waist, and a 30, 33 inch four, inch hip. Due to her proportions, Barbie would have to walk on all fours. <laughs> According to the National Eating Disorder Association, in 2000, the average size of an American woman is a size 14. However, we continue to see the unattainable images for, for what it, through magazines of what an average woman should be. Today, the perception of women in magazines are once again evolving through the image, through the messages and awareness brought by people like Clibborn and Gail Sawyer, teenage girls are protesting to stop thin and airbrushed models in New York. The next time you see an advertisement <coughs> while you're waiting at, in line at your favorite grocery store or in between your favorite television show, think to yourself. What message is the advertisement trying to convey and how is it going to affect the future of girls